northwestern part of Jordan is the ancient city of Madaba, known around the world as the City of Mosaics. Some of the most amazing mosaics are here, in the Greek Orthodox Church of St. George. He's the guy who killed a dragon with a spear. The walls and columns of the small church are covered with mosaic pictures. A mosaic is an image created by gluing together colored pieces. These mosaics are made from colored stones. The pride of the church is not what's on the walls, but what's on the floor. Dating back to the 6th century, it's the earliest known map of Jerusalem and the Holy Land. This is only part of the original map. Much of it was destroyed over the centuries. Because it's so spread out across the floor, it's hard to get a good view of the map. Fortunately, there's a photo outside that shows it more clearly. Originally made of 2 million pieces, the map is so accurate, researchers say it helped them to locate places mentioned in the Bible but subsequently lost to history. So how do you make a mosaic? Glad you asked. At the Tree of Life Craft Center, we were given a quick introduction to the marvelous art of mosaic making. So the first step we choose an image, the second step we copy it on the cloth, the third step we take and we bring the stones from different places and from different mountains of Germany. All of the colors of stones that we use it are natural natural colors of stones, but when we bring pieces of stones from the mountains, usually we take them and we bring them as big pieces. A machine turns the big pieces of stone into thin strips. These are easily cut by the artisans into smaller pieces and then glued one by one onto the outline traced on the cloth-covered board. The work is labor-intensive. Mosaics take days or even months to finish. This is a community program to enable disabled people to learn a craft and earn a living. It grew out of an initiative begun by Jordan's Queen Noor. Just like Meghan Markle, Queen Noor was an American who married into royalty. What she did, she established Mosaic School, and all of us graduated from that school. And uh, if you wanted to be proficient in mosaics, then you have to study there for five years. Five. Walking around the display area where the crafts are sold is a visual delight. While there's a wide variety of pictures, clearly the most popular image is the Tree of Life from the Old Testament. To create a mosaic, you need artistic flair, a steady hand, and patience. Lots of patience. For Teen Kids News, I'm Olivia.